You'll have to practice with any piece of survival gear and a ferrocerium rod for fire starting is no exception. People are buying some of these survival knives and they have a, a ferrocerium rod built into them. So they pull it out and then find out it's not working too well. We're going to look at these and I'm going to show you a few tips to make it work for you. Start with a good product. Some of them, such as this one, are not very good. They'll spark, but they're not going to spark very well. This is a Boy Scout Hot Spark. It's a very good product, very easy to carry. I carry one with me all the time on my key ring survival kit. Here are some other good quality rods. These come off the Survival Common Sense website. They're made with antlers and they have special strikers with them. This one is another commercial one. All of these have been used pretty extensively. The first thing you'll need to do is probably remove the coating. This coating keeps the metal from oxidizing and it's generally pretty shiny when, when it's gone if you can see that. There's a good spark right here once you get that coating off. I carry this one a lot. It's small, compact, and pretty thick. If you can see in here, it's been used a lot, but it has kind of gotten a little oxidation on there. Will it spark? It should. Yeah. But you don't know. So the first thing you want to do is make sure that there's no coating or residue left on here. You need to see a shiny surface. Then you want to have a good striker. This is a commercial striker. This is a piece of a hacksaw blade. And here's another piece of metal. You can use a knife blade, but the sparks are so hot, it will probably damage the blade if you use it very often. The next thing to work on is your technique. If you're right-handed, I would hold the ferrocerium rod in your left hand and the striker in your right. Now take a look here. If you see that, you can see that there's no tilt here. I'm just rubbing it like that. It's not going to work. You're going to have to put about a 45 degree angle on that so you can scrape it. With a 45 degree angle established with the striker then, what you need to do is pull back like this. What you're trying to do is keep from brushing your tinder with this other hand. The proper technique is going to give you a big spark like that. And you don't need to use a whole lot of the ferrocerium rod. When your rod is clean and you have the right angle and a good striker, you only need that much. It's not a matter of how big the ferrocerium rod is, it's a matter of how well it works. These work very well. Make sure you carry some tinder with you of some sort. Cotton balls and Vaseline are excellent. You can get three in a bottle this size, carry it in your pocket, and it will start several fires. Cotton balls and Vaseline and this ferrocerium rod, in my opinion, are virtually foolproof fire starter methods. So to sum it all up, it's pretty simple. Get some good tinder, cotton balls and Vaseline. Get a good ferrocerium rod and make sure you get the residue off before you need it. And then get a good striker. When you have all these, practice. That way, when you need this survival skill, you'll already have it.